वेलकम फ्रेंड्स असलीमिया वेलकम्स यू वंस अगेन लाइक टुडे आई हैव ब्रॉट यू अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग स्टॉक आई वाज सर्चिंग फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टॉक लाइक व्हिच इज इन रिलेशन टू इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स सो आई फाउंड वन स्टॉक सो व्हिच आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस इट टुडे सो द स्टॉक नेम इज इंडो बोरेक्स एंड केमिकल्स एंड दे आर प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ लिथियम हाइड्रोक्साइड व्हिच इज यूज्ड इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ बैटरीज EV batteries so now a standard disclaimer like i am not a sebi registered stock advisor so before investing in this stock please consult sebi registered stock advisor we uh, will not accept any liability due to investment in this stock now indo borex and chemicals like what are the key products like they are the only manufacturer of boric acid in india boric acid they are basically producing in three forms one is tech grade powder which is used in welding fire insulation and micronutrients uh, for soil then there is granular boric acid which is used in nuclear application then glass glass fiber ceramics porcelain enamels and third one is uh, like the pharmaceutical grade boric acid which is used for ointment eye washes shampoos mouthwash so if you see from a common perspective and if you see the uses like welding fire insulation micronutrients nuclear applications fused products in glass glass fiber ceramics porcelain enamels ointments eye washes shampoos mouthwash if you think of any one product use of each product is growing in india because of the growing population so if the product market itself is growing then definitely the product usage will also grow and definitely the boric acid usage will also grow then the other interesting part is lithium hydroxide basically it is used in ev batteries and in manufacturing of greases greases is used in greasing of your auto vehicles so basically right now there is no big uh, battery manufacturer in india who is producing uh, lithium ion batteries so it is only mainly used in greases the their facilities are fda approved so they can uh, easily export their products to us as well and uh, i have already explained that they are the only manufacturer of it in india now looking at the financials if you see the financial you will see that there is not an exponential growth it is in consistent like sales are consistent and the operating profit is also little bit consistent little bit here and there so if you see in the last two years basically in march 2018 their lithium hydroxide manufacturing facility start started production so that is why you are seeing a jump in the top line as as well as the bottom line now you see like the previous the quarterly numbers were around 15 18 crore range and now it has climbed to 33 crores for 34 crores range okay now moving on cash flow the good part is the company is investing in the new plant from their existing cash flows and they are not taking additional debt for it they are debt free so that is a very good part of the company now lithium hydroxide basically i would like to discuss about lithium hydroxide lithium hydroxide is used in manufacturing of lithium ion batteries currently it is used in manufacture of greases like maruti is uh, putting a lith lithium battery plant in gujarat so definitely the uh, market for lithium hydroxide is going to increase and they are going to supply to several big auto majors who are going to set up lithium ion battery plant in india so what i expect that uh, the manufacturing of lithium battery will increase exponentially in india based based on how government is going ahead for the electric vehicles the other part is the efficiency of vehicles is increase being increased and this is how it is been increased is uh, usage of less metal and increase of other plastic and other parts and enamels so which ultimately is resulting in more usage of company products and thus leading to more of their demand and we all know that the auto market in india is growing that every year the passenger vehicles are increasing as compared to last years 
so th that is a very good sign now pros and cons company is regularly dividend paying like almost 12 years they are paying dividend current dividend yield is around 0.56 percent promoter holding is quite good that is 55 percent then the company is debt free the other good part which i liked from the annual report is like the executive director of the company is paid commission as percentage of profits and the table is like up to four crore of profit he gets one percent and up to four to six crore he gets three percent and above six crore he gets five percent so there is an incentive for him so that company makes more profits so that is a good sign so he will he will work harder to achieve more profits because that himself he himself will get more commissions based on that then demand of boron products are is increasing every year and demand of lithium is uh, dependent on increased demand which is also increasing but lithium hydroxide which we expected in couple of years is going to increase exponentially the raw material boron and lithium is imported so it is dependent on exchange rate so hence there is lot of volatility in the raw material prices the other thing is it is a very like there is particularly no research being carried out by this company and also in market domain very less information is available so such companies can be multi baggers but the risk is very high but if you see this company the production is, like the results are very consistent so i don't think the chances of making loss is there but the thing is that you might not get the expected returns from the stock that that can happen so very less information being available about this company now coming up to our final review the indo borex and chemicals is available at a price of around 419 rupees the pe current pe of stock is 7 and market cap is 135 crore rupees now the other interesting part is like in 135 crores basically company has put 36 crores the fair value of their investment in property and another 20 crores are in mutual funds so if you see out of 135 crore market cap around uh, 56 crores company has assets fixed assets except the business so you are getting a company in around 80 crores which is quite good there if you see company like what we are predicting in like next two years time the company will be making a profit after tax of 28 crores and the net market cap you are getting is 80 crores so within five years six years down the line and if this lithium hydroxide story plays out maybe the current market cap you are getting the profit profit after tax will be much more than that so the revenue expected uh, is 180 crores in 2 years and net profit after tax is 28 crores and eps is 87 lithium hydroxide can play out in couple of years since lot of battery manufacturing will happen in india in the current valuation we have not considered this because currently the demand has not started so we cannot predict like how it will behave but the good part is the probability is very high that this story plays out and it gives lot of money it the company is able to make lot of money from this story the competitor is bora murarji it is continuously making losses so uh, so that is one good part because if your competitor competitor is making good losses and their product is good is well received by the market so demand is going to increase so verdict like indo borex and chemicals is at very interesting valuation the minimum price i am expecting is around 870 rupees based on pe of 10 the pe of 10 i have considered based on historical pe of indo borex however if lithium hydroxide story plays out very good then this pe of 10 can lead to margin xp expansion and it can go up to 20 also but conservatively we have considered p of 10 so what we see is it is a 2x opportunity from 2 years perspective and this is a very low risk stock and uh, the probability of price fall is very very low so thank you friends and if you like the, my presentation subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link below the blue colored arrow thank you and see you next time